Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick video, a quick look at something new today. Google Chrome updated its browser to Chrome 83. So Google Chrome was at Chrome 81 and they jumped over 82. 82 was actually skipped. So if you go in your uh, upper right corner, three vertical dots, help, in a bad Google Chrome. If you're not already there, you should be updated to 83.0.4103.61. That's what we have here. And it, of course, arrived with a few new additions and changes. So Google Chrome is the browser that's the most popular in the world. Um, something like 70% of people use it. It's more than 1 billion users around the world. And that's all platforms, of course. So what is new in Chrome 83, uh, basically? So uh, one of the uh, things that it does is deprecate a little bit of uh, some of the old and removed uh, um, options that were in the past. Um, we weren't sure that Chrome 83 would arrive that fast uh, because of the coronavirus. There was a pause, and then they said, no, okay, we're going ahead. So uh, that was kind of interesting to uh, see that they uh, started quite quickly again. So privacy and security have a, a new option. So, well, not a new option, but a new way of wording what it is. So when you go to privacy and security, now there's something called clear browsing data. This clear browsing data is basically a new wording for uh, the way that they were people were deleting the browser history. Um, by the way, at the top it says "you and Google now." That's also something that's changed. Previously, it was called "people," simply. Uh, so you've got clear browsing data. That is one of the changes. The wording is changed to make things a little easier to understand. Uh, you also have site settings that has permissions for uh, cookies. It's div divided into um, different um, categories that you didn't have before. So this is also something that's kind of interesting because they kind of uh, are trying to simplify the way or uh, find a way that people understand a little better what's happening. So in the site settings, the controls are reorganized into distinct sections to help you uh, with the sensitive website information that you might, you know, uh, want to uh, see here. And of course, uh, all of that is in here. And uh, that's kind of, they're trying to simplify things basically a little more. Uh, in the cookies, now if you go into incognito mode, well, uh, you want, there's cookie blocking. So incognito mode is that mode where um, you actually are supposed to be a little more private. So when you're here, there's more blocking of cookies. Um, so websites that will be visited by this mode are going to actually uh, be blocked in some websites and third party cookies and some websites not all of them, but some of them will be, of course, in there. Um, there's now something, well, it's already there, but if you are logged in to the um, browser, when you actually go to Google Chrome browser, and I am logged in with my account here, my Gmail account, they also are improving and making things a little more secure and the uh, different options that are available for safe browsing. So more and more safe browsing happening. What's safe browsing? It's simply that they have a list of all the websites that are deemed to be dangerous, that could download malware and so on, phishing attempts and so on. And uh, all of that information, of course, is even more protected when you're signed in into the browser. And uh, that's pretty much what it is on the PC side of things. 
their security fixes, a lot of security fixes, 38 in total. So if <coughs> it's not for the new features, at least for security, update to your um, latest version of Chrome because there's 38 security flaws. Uh, many of them are high. Um, so that means that they are of, you know, possibly already uh, exploited or at least easy to exploit on the uh, internet. If you're using Chrome on iOS, if you're using Chrome on Android, there's a uh, dark mode that is now fully dark mode available, which was not totally available before. So you can actually turn on dark mode on iOS and Android. So remember to go and check it out. If you want to know if you have it, upper right corner, three vertical dots, help, and about Google Chrome. And this will bring you Chrome version 83. That's available today, May 20th, no, May 19th, sorry, 2020. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.